So uh, I just watched the Blue Hours video about um, this problem he's having in VMware Fusion, which was really, really interesting to me because I've been recently having sort of a similar uh, problem with XP, actually. So what he does is he points out this problem um, with this clock, right? Like it's doing this bizarre thing where it lives on the desktop, but not really. So I wanted to show you sort of what my experience is with, is with Unity and what and sort of what the whole thing is. So, if we go to about this Mac, just to prove to you that this is, you know, a real not hacked Mac. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. No, you probably can't. Okay, so this is a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, two gigs of RAM. Uh, it's a MacBook Pro. It's pretty, you know, it's an Apple MacBook Pro. It's not, it's legit. So, let's. Uh, I already opened up VMware down here. So here we are in VMware. I've got my, uh, my, my my computer window and my big VMware window and just like him I've got my unity button so I'm just gonna click it right now boom so here's what happens is that this window is now integrated sort of directly with the operating system and that is the my computer icon representing I assume Windows Explorer so I mean this window behaves just like a normal OS X window right like it works in expose you know I can hide it all or bring it back um, yeah, it works just like a normal OS X window, even uh, minimizing works, all that good stuff. It's just a legit OS X, uh, or XP video, uh, window, I'm sorry. So what I encountered a problem with, and what I think is the similar problem that he's having, is this issue with DirectX technologies. So let me put this back into a single window view. Alright, so here we are back. Now, here's what I think. This feature he showed with the sidebar here, I'm not totally 100% positive, but I'm probably 85% positive that that's relying on DirectX, which is Microsoft's, I'm sure you know, um, bizarre graphics library that's um, it's pretty cool for games and stuff, but sometimes it does weird stuff like this, and DirectX stuff doesn't like it when you're running more than one DirectX thing at a time, but that's besides the point. So what I think is happening is that the, the DirectX libraries aren't sort of carrying through properly. Um, I can't obviously test that exact feature because I'm running XP, which doesn't have the, the gadgets and things like that. But what I do have are games, and I can test games. So I have, um, I recently bought, just to prove to you that I'm not a pirate, because I know that's a big deal, I recently bought the Orange Box um, for PC, awesome game, and um, so far I've only been able to play it in Portal, in, um, sorry, in Boot Camp. And this is because I think that there's something wrong with uh, Microsoft's DirectX library technology. For instance, when I, uh, sorry, this is actually being really, okay, here we go. When I turn up my volume, right, like you can see this thing, right? And that's what's supposed to happen with portals. But now, will the game actually start? This is the interesting part. No. The game just crashes. It, it's not down here. Um, I can bring up the. Hold on, let me bring up the task manager to just show you that it's not even in there. Task manager, and it's called HL2 because it's based off the Half Life engine. Nothing. All we have is Steam, which is the launcher for it. But there's no HL2, which makes me think that VMware, it's not a problem with. Windows. Well, it sort of is. VMware can't process DirectX sorts of technologies, is what I think the issue is. Um, I know, well, DirectX technology is past DirectX 9. Because this thing that you're showing with this clock, that's, um, sorry, whoops, went to iTunes. This, this clock thing, that's DirectX 10. And this portals thing is DirectX 9. And I know from, at least I think, if we just go to Wikipedia, that I think VMware and perhaps, correct me if I'm wrong, Portal, or, um, sorry, why do I keep saying that? Parallels supports up through DirectX 8.1, which is why you're able to play some older games, like Tony Hawk and stuff like that. Um, so that's what I think is happening, VMware Fusion. Sorry that I don't have screen capture software. This sucks because you can't see everything. But if we do, um, 
let's see here. Yeah, the only thing that they really mention on here about 3D graphics is experimental 3D graphics support. And then I'm sure if we do in Control F or Direct X, something will come up. No. Okay. So, from what I can tell, it's a DirectX libraries issue, um, which means that, at least as far for what I think, VMware just is not playing nicely with DirectX stuff. Um, what I think is happening is that it's playing nicely in the windowed thing because it's sort of integrated as part of the desktop, like. Like once you, I think once you go into Unity, it activates more DirectX type stuff because it makes each thing run as run as its own window, and that could be screwing it up. So that's what I think the issue is. I don't know. Maybe this could be totally wrong. By the way, Blue Hour, watch watch a lot of your videos. I'm subscribed. Haven't really commented yet, but um, they're uh, they're really good stuff. So keep up the good work.